I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your one-stop shop for living on a Bitcoin standard. Sign up and grab gift cards for eSIMs, gaming, e-commerce, your travel needs, food, and much more, and you can buy them all with Bitcoin and Lightning. Sign up today and use code BTC Sessions 10 for some special perks. The reason why I am comes in around, you know, I guess what has turned into my livelihood, which is educating people how to use Bitcoin and how to secure their Bitcoin and become self-sovereign and use all the awesome tools that are being built by all the incredible people out there. And I've had a great time doing that over the the past number of years. And the types of people that I get to educate has shifted and grown over the years. And most recently, I was very lucky to be the recipient of a grant from the Human Rights Foundation. And so with that came a chance to work with human rights activists from around the globe um, for various reasons that often are living under tyrannical governments and want the ability to to speak up and have their voices heard and protest, but often can't and find themselves on the receiving end of, you know, their bank accounts being shut down and being basically removed from the financial system. So they can't even fund any sort of protest or you know, oftentimes even being thrown in prison. And the financial aspect of that is one that they have to navigate. And people are beginning to piece together that Bitcoin can be a piece of the puzzle in solving some of those problems. However, because we're dealing with an international audience with a lot of this, um, sometimes language can be a barrier because there's not always easy solutions. There's not always translations and stuff like that available. However, there have been some incredible non-Bitcoin tools that have been popping up in the past couple of years, and they're accelerating so quickly and becoming so amazing. Just recently, AI has gotten to a point where I can plunk in a video and have it come out the other end in five or 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and I've got a full tutorial. And it's not just translated and dubbed, but it's, they CGI my lips you look like I'm like I know Spanish or Hindi or Mandarin or whatever it may be. With the grant from the HRF, I've begun work on a series that's going to go through a lot of the things that these NGOs and that these that these human rights activists need to know to properly use and secure Bitcoin in the situations that they have. And the goal is by the beginning of 2024 to have a library in English, uh, a, probably a 10 video library to start in English, but also in Spanish, also in Mandarin, and also in Hindi, and then eventually more. It's one of those moments and like where technology gets to a point where I'm just floored. And, and the reason I'm so bullish on this is I've had the pleasure of watching people in their Bitcoin journeys and working one-on-one -on -one with people and seeing every single day how much faster people are leveling up and learning how to do all this stuff. And now I get to see it on a global level in many different languages. And the barrier to that is just being crumbled around me. And so.